Today, I have a testimony. God has healed me. Starting off this year, I had a health issue. My stomach was producing too much acid. So much that the acid would literally be at the very top of my stomach. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know where my, <laughs> where my stomach was until I started having issues with it. Cause the acid was so much that if I try to shake my body like this, I'll literally feel the acid go from one side of the stomach to the other. If I try to lie down, I'll literally feel the acid regurgitate up. And then trying to sit up, I'll feel it literally go down. It was intense. One of the most painful experience I've ever gone through in my entire life. Not only was it a mental stress, it was an emotional stress, it was a physical stress, and it was definitely a spiritual stress because I've never prayed like that in my life. Being, having to pray for the same thing every second of the day for three to four months of my life. I prayed so hard. As much as it was such a painful experience, it gave me an opportunity to actually put the word of God to test. Because several places in the Bible, God promised us of help. So I always, you know, had to remind God, not that I needed to remind God, but I always had to hold God accountable for what he said in the Bible about all the healing for those that belongs to him. Another thing God did for me during this experience is that he gave me a cushion. He didn't allow me to feel an, exter an external stress because he surrounded me with such a loving environment. I got so much support from my family, from my Bible study family, from my friends, from some of my coworkers that, you know, I opened up to. He blessed me with an amazing boss that gave me, that was so understanding and flexible to allow me to have multiple, you know, to leave work for multiple doctor visits. After so many visits uh, with my PCP, my principal doctor, he had to recommend me to a specialist, a GI specialist, because the medication he was giving me was not controlling the symptoms. This was so painful. I couldn't eat. I couldn't even drink water because my stomach was always filled with acid to the brim. There was no room for food. It just got to the point that I had to come to a conclusion. I had to hold my ground. I had to let God know that if my body is his temple, there is no way the Holy Spirit can stay in the same place where there is a disease. That spirit that raised Jesus from the dead cannot be in a body where there is a disease in it. I did not start up my year with a stomach disease. My stomach was perfectly in a great condition at the beginning of the year. So I refused to end my year with a stomach issue that was never there in the first place. I've never had issue with regurgitation. I've never had issued with acid reflux. I've never experienced that my entire life. So I had to tell God that if, if my life is also a living sacrifice, there's no way he can be getting a sacrifice that is deformed. So when I got to that point, I pretty much stopped praying because I told God, it's either his word stands or this sickness stands. One has to win at the end of the day. And if his word is life, 
and it's active and it's alive it has to win this word that i believed in so much that i enjoy talking about him as much opportunity that i get if his word is truly true he must heal me from whatever it is so i scheduled for an endoscopy so that um the gi doctor will truly see what's going on in my stomach because nobody knew the medications were not controlling it it was just a mess after i scheduled for the endoscopy my spirit was not at ease god was pretty much telling me that i needed to reschedule and postpone the endoscopy i was asking why deep down inside i knew that god did not want whatever it is that was going on in my stomach to have a diagnosis the doctor predicted so many different things you know but since there was no objective information on that through endoscopy i refused to accept whatever it is that he was saying so after god told me to reschedule the endoscopy he told me that i needed to seek out for help so he directed me to call someone for them to pray for me i called them and they prayed for me i did notice certain changes but the symptoms were pretty much significantly still there so a um, few days passes by and god god directed me to a particular bible verse because i was reading up on moses in the beginning of the year the next chapter i was supposed to be on god told me to go back to that chapter and read it i fought it for like a couple of minutes because i just wanted to, to relax before going to work i didn't really want to have a bible study before going to work but god was really insistent on me reading that bible chapter so I went and I read it and the moment I read it, I knew God wanted me to do. I knew, <laughs> I knew that I was healed. So there was a specific direction that the chapter that I was led to, there was a specific direct, there were specific directions that was given. So I made sure I did everything to the T. I did not leave out anything. By the time I was done with the instructions, it was a day before I had to go for endoscopy. I went for the endoscopy. The doctor said that he checked and checked and checked. He didn't find anything in my stomach. There was no gastritis. There was no ulcer, there was no hiatal hernia, there was no, there was nothing. From his doctor's notes, everything looks normal and was functioning perfectly well. My stomach is in perfect condition. I was, <laughs> I was excited because at that very moment was literally the last day i felt the particular symptom that made me know that something was wrong with my body so the doctor was like okay that i need to continue on the medication you know once a day for another six months in my mind i said nope that was it faith without works is dead and your faith shall make you whole. I had to step out in faith to decide, you know, to win myself out of the medication. So every step of the way in winning myself out of the medications I was in was a step of faith. That as the very moment I'm talking to you right now, I have not been on a single medication for almost a week and a half. I've been on medication every day since January. God has healed me. If anyone out there is going through any health issue, 
if you're out there and you're going through something that seems so impossible to for you to overcome whether it is a financial issue whether it is a health issue no matter what it is my encouragement to you is to never give up on god hold god accountable to his word he will never fail he always backs up his word god is faithful i will never forget this experience because i've learned so much cuz he said count it all joy when you face diverse tests i've learned a whole new level of joy i thought i knew what joy was till this experience i thought i knew what faith was till this experience i understand more about myself more about the word of god more about spirituality more about god himself i've grown so much as painful as this experience was god used it to grow the person that i am i'm going to use this opportunity to pray for anyone that's going through any health issue out there in jesus name amen oh lord my heavenly father i thank you for this opportunity to share this amazing testimony about your healing power in my life lord if there's anyone out there that's going through a health issue I pray at this moment wherever it is they are. I pray that you comfort them with the same comfort that you gave me. I pray that you heal them wherever it is that they're feeling the pain in their body. Whether it is a psychological pain, whether it is a physical pain, whether it is an emotional distress whatever it is they're going through Lord I pray that you meet them at the point of their need and that they are healed in the name of Jesus Amen Thank you everyone for listening Have a great day bye